Uh, first question: Applebee's or Ribera? <laughs> oh, oh. Batista, man. Applebee's gave me a jacket, so I like them a little bit true? better. <laughs> Why would they give me a jacket? I'm not going to lie to these people. No. Um, Roberto's a great steakhouse. They have good food. Why the Reggie Miller jersey? He was my favorite player when I was growing up. So. I'm from Chicago. I'm so sorry. Where's he from? <laughs> Indiana. I'm from Detroit. Is he he's like a big, <laughs> big basketball man? Yeah. If Kentucky had an NBA team, would you prefer them? I don't know. I've lived in Philly for eight years now. I'm a big Sixers fan. Uh, so... It'd be hard, but I, you know, Louisville should get a team. Kentucky's a huge basketball state, and it's one of the biggest cities in America without a pro sports team. How do you feel about uh, AEW going to like Philadelphia and stuff coming up with that? It's nuts. That show, the venue they're running, is literally like a few blocks from my apartment. Like I could walk to that show, so I might, I might walk. I'll probably meet his dog finally. Oh, meet him, man. He's cool. Would Can't say his like name. The, would you guys like to see a show in Detroit for AEW? Yeah, of course. Absolutely, yeah. Anywhere. I want to bring up yeah, Detroit. Yeah. All the big, cool yeah. cities, you know? Anywhere you, else, too. You said that Dark Order were sneaky pervs after the last show, spooky I think. Pervers. Spooky pervs. Spooky pervs. Uh, ha- have you changed your mind on that at all? No. Nah. Were you guys there? Did we say that to you? Because it was the same kind of situation with all these people pointing things yeah, out. Yeah, you definitely said it in public. I black out in these. I know it was in public, but it wasn't to actually anyone here, right? No. I, I, I was there. You were there? Yeah, I was there. Just oh, wow. A, just as spooky as ever and just as perverted as mm-hmm. ever. And I can't wait to murder them, man. I'm ex- well, I'm excited. Well, I called their guys something. Oh, nudies. Uh, masked. Ma- masked is hard to say. Masked nudies. <laughs> anyway, next question. <laughs> now, where have you seen their improvements since the time in PWG to right now? What have you seen in them that you really like for them as a team? Uh, I haven't seen them wrestle much here. No, I... Th- you know, I hate to say nice things about them, but like I think for a long time they've been a great tag yeah. team and they've deserved to to make it to a bigger stage. And and you know they've been teaming for like ten years, yeah, they, now, a long time. They're they, a good tag team. The internet's having fun like being mean to them, mm. but uh, I think they're all shut up about that real soon because yeah. those guys are real good. Does that aura that they have like kind of throw your game plan off at all, or make you have to prepare differently than just any other tag team? We're two of the bravest men. <laughs> So, like, we don't really get thrown off by games like that. You yeah, know, we don't prepare anyway. Uh, yeah. <laughs> we don't so, have preparation. We just true. show up and fight because we're, like you said, we're brave. We just hit each other's feet. I'm sorry. I didn't feel it. Really? Yeah, man. <laughs> well, How do you feel about the whole, uh, just the tag division in general and, like, uh, AEW putting a big focus onto that and you guys are just part of it? That's super exciting. Like, I mean, yeah, we've said this multiple the times. Obvious but answers. Go like, ahead. We signed with AEW over... Uh, you know, Sigma New Japan because of the emphasis they were putting on the tag team division, yep. and uh, they seem to be building uh, the best tag team division in wrestling, and uh, we're, we're super excited it, yeah. to be a part it's of cool. it. Yeah, I is think it's gonna be great. Is that, a, is that a breath of fresh air for you guys? Just considering how it was in New Japan, there wasn't like you said that big focus, and so now you come here and it's going to be one of the big focal points of this company. Absolutely. I mean, it's, I'm. It's why I've been, we've been wrestling yeah. our whole lives to to be wrestlers. So like being in the background is not fun no so of course we're happy yeah. to be one of you know. what happened to your arm you have a band-aid on it oh uh, i do heroin <laughs> no, i'm just kidding we had we had uh, blood we got blood we tested blood I, I took my band-aid off yeah we had you don't need to wear the band-aid i feel tough it's a little but i feel like this like you said heroin users don't put band-aids over it so you look like you have track marks. is that aew related or like commission related anything there are some states was, where you have to do that it's like all the it's for everything like we're doing D- yeah. DC has uh, a strict commission. We had to have blood work, so they just knocked it out today. Yeah, I, I know, think like, it's just for every state that has a commission, they're yeah. getting it all done with now, yeah. maybe. I don't know. So with you guys going to TV, and now that they're announcing NXT going over there, what do you guys think? Cool, good. Yeah. It's weird. It's <laughs> I was talking to uh, my friend about it last night. It's such a weird thing that, like, it's just pitting all the indie dudes against each other. <laughs> like, like, my... Our fiercest rival is now Johnny Gargano, yeah, my friend. I was in his wedding. Like he's my friend. The whole roster is like our friends, <laughs> yeah. pretty much. So like, uh, I'm happy to see him on TV. Yeah, uh, it should be a good show. Those guys are all really good. And the competition is great for wrestling. It always, it's gonna make gonna, everybody step their game up. Everyone's gonna watch both anyway. Yeah, it's DVR now anyway. Yeah. Nobody watches shit live. Or stuff. We talked about friends. What about your enemies? Who do you think stole Stokely Hathaway CD player? <laughs> question. That's my favorite thing on Twitter. Besides Biff. 
Yeah, Biff's, Biff's good. so good, huh? Yeah. Was, was it you? Was it the Dark Order? They, they seem like they'd be into that kind of thing. They might still CD players. I don't know. I just wish poor things happened to Stokely Hathaway. Yeah. I don't like, I, like I, don't, him. I don't care for him. I like him a lot. He's got a new name. What's his name? Malcolm Bivens. <laughs> That's ridiculous. <laughs> <laughs> it's a stupid name. Bivens. He's the worst. <laughs> he stole my name one time in Chikara. He was Chuck Taylor. I know. Tra- t- t- oh, you did a big feud with him, right? Hell yeah, dude. Oh, that's why you're talking to us. Protect the business, brother. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Speaking of a couple more guys, Speaking of the Chuck Taylor, did you guys get this same converse happening? Is, is that like a going trend? Did you guys get more uh, matchup? No, oh, we just... Man. I just always wear I tra- them. When I was training, I would wear high-top Chuck Taylors. That's why they gave me the name. They started calling me Chuck Taylor, so... I uh, wear the shoe. I got the name because I wear the shoes. I don't wear the shoes because I got the name. Okay, that would be lame if it was the other way around. Yeah, right. Like, oh, I'm Chuck. Dude, gotta <laughs> wear oh, these. I gotta wear the Chuck. <laughs> <laughs> That's how it goes. I want to hang out with you. No. With the uh, with the amount of access that people have now to the sport, what really separates you guys from the other tag teams out there? Uh, I think people can tell that we're genuine. We're us. You know, people yeah. connect to us because we're just too normal idiots yeah and I mean, like we're not like larger than life we're just dudes and maybe that's to our own detriment I feel like we're but. two podcast dudes that like you you feel like you're friends with yeah but even though we're not on a podcast no, but let's start a podcast man we should let's do it okay but like yeah it's just people feel like they know us as dudes and see that we're regular and that's a and we fight for what's it's right. It's definitely different than, like, <laughs> yeah, we fight for truth. <laughs> is there anybody in particular you guys are looking forward to facing on the AEW roster? Yeah. Everybody. I, I, yeah, think, I can't think uh, of anyone I don't want to. We've had a million matches with the Young Bucks, but it, I always like getting with them. I'd like to have a single with a private party. They really impressed me yeah. at the last time we fought them. The Lucha Bros. Urban. Dark Order. Yeah. <laughs> Who else is there? Oh, uh, Jungle Boy and uh, Dinosaur Man. Mm-hmm. There's a lot of well, there's a lot of good tag teams. So. I agree. Yeah, it's exciting. Who do we not want to wrestle? You think? Tag team was. Let's bury some guys. <laughs> <laughs> That's you, man. Those guys suck. Yeah. <laughs> no. Uh, no, buddy. No, it's it's. We're excited for the tournament. I don't even know who's gonna be in it. How many teams? We don't even know. Nobody we're just knows. fighting for a bye to a tournament we don't know anything about. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Last one, guys. Chicago, where are you guys gonna go eat at? You know, never had deep dish pizza in Chicago. Really? I've never had it. Should we do it? Maybe after the show tomorrow. I ate Seven Eleven for dinner last night in Chicago. <laughs> Me and Orange Cassidy went to our Hooters. hotel. Is near nothing. <laughs> we had chicken wings. Where should Hooters. we eat? That's a, well, I, that's I, why I'm asking you. I've never been downtown. There's uh, pizza pie. Pa- last time we came, there was a uh, pizza pot pie that you can get. It's oh, like wow. it's got the the dough all on the bottom, but the cheese and the oh, all that's all baked over. It's Sounds good. There's that wiener circle that's really good hot dogs. At one time, the only thing I've ever, only thing I've ever, hey man, let me tell my story. (laughs) (laughs) The only thing I've ever actually done in Chicago, like I've been here, like, I don't know, a few times, six times, seven. The only thing I ever did was go to, like, get a beef sandwich that I saw on, like, one of those TV shows. Driver, dine-in, one of those kind of things. Uh, That's the only thing I've ever done. We're also in Schaumburg. We're, like, 40 miles from Chicago. We're Chicago. (laughs) We could get a beef sandwich. (laughs) Right. <laughs> <laughs> Beef sandwich on three. Yeah. All right, guys. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks, All right. guys. Thanks, guys. Thanks, fellas.